Greetings to all my friends out there on YouTube, Facebook, wherever. This is your boy, Celine Driver, me. Coming to you with another not walking, walking and talking video. I believe this is number 41. Uh, what I want to talk about today, I, I actually had lined up a couple of other videos to make. Um, but I wanted to jump this one in line because I thought it was uh, something that uh, needed to be said, considering, you know, a few things that are going on in my life and uh, also one or two things in the uh, community itself. You know who you are. Uh, the other day, I was over at my folks' house and had one of my daughters was there too and for some reason uh that i was in the other room with my father so i don't know what prompted this to be drug out um i, I came back in the room to find my daughter and my mom uh going over old photo albums uh that my mom has at, at the house uh specifically um the, her wedding album, my mom's wedding album, and also uh, pictures of uh, my daughters when they were younger, and myself, and uh, uh, my um, alleged sister. <laughs> Maybe one day I'll do a video on that. Um, and, you know, obviously I started looking through some of them myself and seeing my, my mom and my dad when they were uh, in their 20s and uh, 30s, uh, you know, when, you know, just while they were getting married, uh, their lives after uh, the marriage, which uh, basically involved me, <laughs> and myself at a young age, uh, my alleged sister at a young age, and then on and on through my life and um, my subsequent marriage and having the kids, you know, family album reminiscing time, which I enjoyed, actually. And especially in light of the way things are now with respect to my father, with respect to uh, my children getting, oh, well, my children are no longer children. They're now 20-somethings. And getting older and, um, hell, one of them is talking about, you know, her future family at this point, which scares the hell out of me. It, it got me to thinking about what we, and, and then it all kind of came together this this morning when I, I saw a video that came across my feed. Uh, it was a TV show, you know, a clip from a TV show um, that basically involved two of the main characters uh, and they're engaged and the guy finally, after you know the dating and everything, uh, finally got to uh, actually meet his future mother-in-law, and uh, you know the hilarity that ensued from there. Well, it wasn't so hilarious, but it was poignant. And I think about all the the the, the memories that I have. Uh, I don't have so many. Uh, pictures. Uh, I do have. I do have a good number, but not as many as uh, I took. Uh, most of that is in possession of my ex-wife, and she ain't giving them up. But I, I have enough to carry me forward um, in terms of all the memories that I have. And there were many more pleasant memories of my marriage and uh, and so forth. And, you know, the times leading up to my marriage than there are of the negatives. Um, so I, I take that as a positive for myself that I have many more good memories than bad. And I, I was thinking along the lines of how precious and how tenuous uh, our, our, our memories are of our, of, of our past, both good and bad, and, what we, and, and how we should hold on to them, of course, but also be mindful of the here and now. Um, 
and how good we have it. I mean, there are several people in this community who have had in the past um, issues that could have ended their lives. Uh, I'm speaking uh, in general, but I am thinking, uh, of course, of my, my friend Keith, uh, a.k.a. the Big Vault Daddy, BBD. Uh, who I love to death 51 out of 52 weeks out of the year. Uh, the one week where I just you know, can't stand the man is uh, Florida, Tennessee week. But uh, he'll be happy this year, uh, 2022. And I'll get into that in other videos. Um, I know that my uh, another friend of mine in this community, Uncle Lou, uh, had a uh, serious accident uh, before I met him both online and in person that you know tore him apart and, and maybe could have ended his life with multiple surgeries and all the risks there um my another friend of mine uh, chess hall who is uh, embarking on a a, a uh, what appears to be a serious weight loss um campaign and um i wish him well with that because he has significant health um consequences if he doesn't do something and uh bl bless him he uh he decided to do something about it and i wish, wish him every ounce no pun intended every ounce of success i've had my own health scares and health problems uh, i'm right now watching my father uh, deal with several challenges and my mom dealing with a few challenges We, we have a finite amount of time on this earth. We need to enjoy it. We need to make the most of it. We need to cherish it and, cherish and, 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 and hold on to that and, and hold on to each other. And, be, and you know, another channel I belong to, he always ends his live streams with be good to each other. BVD ends a lot of his streams and videos now with hug your mama and your daddy. I take that seriously. I, I, I hug him every day now. I mean, literally, I'm over there every day now and, you know, doing w what I can. Um, it never seems to feel like enough. Even though they tell me it's, it's plenty, it never seems to be in my heart enough. But I do what I can. But there's a lot of drama in the, in this community. Um, some of it instigated by me in, uh, from time to time. And there are a few people in this uh, in the fringes of this community that I can do without, and I freely admit that. Um, there are others that I said in the past that I could do without that have uh, subsequently come back in uh, around me, and I found them to have uh, changed and uh, have tried to make amends in that respect. But we all have really good memories and hang on to those and do what you can to document those and, and, and preserve those for yourself down the line, for your uh, children, if you have any down the line and their children, God willing. But don't forget to be uh, here in the present and um, enjoy each other. Uh, be good to each other. Um, uh, because a lot of the silliness and the drama that I see uh, from time to time that crops up and just eats at our community and eats at each other, is, is, is for the most part, is just silliness. And, and, and we all have really, really good friendships on here. And I, for one, am uh, very appreciative of those friendships. And I'm grateful. And uh, a lot of you I would miss terribly if you weren't here anymore. <laughs> uh, maybe some of you could say the same about me, but I'll leave that to your judgment as to whether or not you can you, you, you would miss tolerating this old gator uh, or not. 
Well, anyway, I just wanted to uh, touch on that because it was something that uh, a couple of different events, the, the picture thing at my folks' house and then the video that crossed my, uh, crossed my feed. And it, it just sort of, uh, I just sort of, sort of sitting and thinking about some of this stuff. And I wanted to get it out there to my friends uh, to um, contemplate. Uh, so that's all I had to say. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all those good things. Um, this is your boy, Celine Driver. I'm out.